Let's take a look how to make this really interesting triangular dithered effect here in Photoshop. And I'm gonna go with this image as a reference. Now this image size is quite big, but when we're gonna apply the dithered effect, it is going to shrink down quite a bit. All right, so let's go to the image. Let's go to mode, and we're gonna need to change it to grayscale. And it's gonna pop up this window. I'm gonna click on this card. It is going to convert it grayscale. Now let's go back to the image. Let's go back to mode. And now let's select the bitmap. Now here at the settings, we're gonna need to apply the pattern dither. So this is the most important thing, select it. And here we get the output. So the size of this image is quite big at 4,000. So for that number, for me, the output is gonna be somewhere around four. And this is gonna be like pixel inch, click okay. And it's gonna scale it down quite a bit. I gotta zoom in and check this out. Now we got the triangle dithered effect. Now I'm gonna go with some other value. I'm gonna press control Z and I'm gonna go back to image mode byte map. And this time I'm gonna try it out with 20, click OK. And if I zoom in, check this out, we have like more details going on. And these triangles are way smaller. So I'm gonna go back to the original settings actually. I'm gonna go with bitmap four. And if you go to the image and select image size, you're gonna see it shrink down quite a bit at 200 pixels. So now we're gonna need to scale this up, but it's going to ruin the quality. And because of that, we're gonna go here to the resample and change it to nearest neighbor hard edges. And now we can upscale the image. I'm gonna type in 4000, for example, how it was before. Click OK and check this out. We got the squares sharp and the whole image is sharp. Now you're also gonna to need to convert this back to normal image. So let's go back to image mode. Let's go and select the grayscale. Size ratio one, click OK. And we're gonna go back to the image mode. And you're also gonna need to select RGB color. So now we got the whole image back to normal. So there you go, this is how you make this triangular dithered effect here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.